Hello and welcome. It's episode 3 of the Chiami Kwame Versatile Reality Show. If you missed out on last week's episode, here's a quick recap. Choreographer Professor Niati and his team auditioned unselected dancers to partake in the final event at the National Theatre and the dance moves exhibited were extremely spectacular. Kwame and Raquel got into the nitty-gritties of rehearsals as they familiarized themselves with the script. Also, the rap doctor got himself into an unfortunate situation where he lost his voice and was unable to hit his notes during the voice training with Paulina Odro. As the D-Day draws nigh, the countdown and journey to the big event continues. As usual, we bring you all the exciting chapters and events as they unfold. Now to this week's episode. Coming up, Ochiame Kwame together with his chosen dancers meet up with his choreographers Niyamu and Antonio for the first time. Five, six, seven, go! Ra. Thank you. Also, the rap doctor and the ex-megastar band together with some surprise names on the bill rehearse songs from his new album ahead of the big show. We catch up with Ochame Kwame in his home and shuffle through a day in the life of the rap doctor. This and much more to come in this episode of the Ochame Kwame Versatile Reality Show, the ultimate countdown to the big event. We will be right back. Welcome back. Our journey begins at Exopa, where the dancers who survived the auditions are assembled to begin rehearsals for the final event. Antonio and Niyamo are in their elements doing what they do best, supervising and preparing the dancers for the 14th of December show. Ochiame Kwame joins the team and partakes in the preparation process. With the rap doctor and the team all pumped after the successful session, we move into the next activity of the day, where we catch up with the ex megastar band at the Musical Rehearsal Studio as they prepare for the day's activity. The band is here to rehearse songs on Ochiame Kwame's album and present them in a live band form for the final show. The rap doctor appears to be running late, so the band begins without him and freestyles some of the songs on the album. passes and the man of the moment arrives to find Zab Malet and some members of the team ready to begin. Zab Malet, who's been engaged as a consultant to add a creative musical director's touch to the production, stops by to supervise proceedings. Also on the bill of artists to feature in the final event is the young female discovery, Vera of D3 fame. Zap, 
who is meeting Vera for the first time, offers some advice to the budding star. Keep on doing it, all right? But don't stop your, your, your day job or your school or something, all right? You can do it, but make sure that, you know, you are, you are, yeah, you have a strong background or strong background, all right? With time far spent, the pleasantries are quickly swept under the carpet as the team get down to business. And Vera done for the day, the two share their impressions of the rehearsals so far. I'm with this project as a technical director and technical consultant. My role is to make sure everything, you know, technically um, per sound is very tight and roundly knit. The impression has been very good, the rehearsal, and uh, I just hope um, it's, it's going to continue. Well, I believe it's going to continue, and definitely we are going to have a good show. I just went in to do my rehearsal with Ochiya Mekwami for the song Don't Judge Me. The band is really good, really, really good. They made me enjoy what I was doing in there, so it was fun. Good work has been done here, so I don't see why you should expect anything different. It's going to be the best concert ever. Meanwhile, back in the studio, Kwame is being kicked out for overstaying his welcome. Rehearsals with the band appears to have gone a little longer than expected. You said 12. I should have even said no. Yes. And that you can't hold me. Yeah, that you've not, you've not, uh, I'm holding you. You've not done well. Kwame shares his opinion concerning the day's activities. Today has been very, very interesting. Um, actually, for the past two weeks, we've been going back and forth with a band that we want them to always come on time. And today, the whole band came on time and I was late. When I got here, Della Hayes was fuming because this is actually her day. So I begged her that I'm going to finish quickly uh, by 12 and leave. But I finished at 1, so um, she, she's really angry that I've come to waste their time and the whole night. So I've apologized. I've got to pay one hour of the venue for her. That the X Mega Star band is a really a solid band. The keyboardist is good, the drummer is good, the bassist is good, the saxophonist is great. The only new person on this set today is the lead guitarist. I don't know where they found him, but I have my eye on him, you know, because I can see that he's trying to improvise constantly and play what he wants to play. But this is um uh, it's not just a concert, it's a musical. So we must, not only must we play the music right, we must capture the mood, the right mood. If it's sad, we must make it sad. If it's happy, we must make it happy because we are trying to communicate um, a story. For various, Vera of um, D3, for her performance, you can see she has a powerful voice. She's extremely beautiful and she's willing and ready to come, come and perform. Zap also came through to come and listen to the sound so that as we proceed, he will know 
the dynamics of what we are going to do. Still to come, we catch up with Mr. Versatile as early as 6 a.m. as he prepares for a power pack day. We take the opportunity to give you a glimpse into a day in the life of the man. We'll be right back. It's a little past 6 a.m. in the morning and we arrive at the rap doctor's home to find him in the middle of daddy duties. The rap doctor is about to give Sir his son his morning bath. Our cameras take an illicit peek. Sir welcomes the camera and seizes the opportunity to direct the cameraman. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! I say shoot him! Shoot daddy! Daddy look in the camera! Soon bothered by the invasion of his privacy, the young man sends the camera away. Go! Go! Minutes pass and our young man is all dressed up and ready for school. He spends the time waiting for his father to finish up by enjoying some early morning cartoons. Soon, the rap doctor emerges and puts final touches to his wardrobe. Looks check, brains check, swag check, class check, style check, flex check, cash check, uh, check. Kwame shares his expectations for the activities line up for the day. I'm going to rehearse from 9 o'clock in the morning till, till 3 o'clock at Musica. And then Efe, who has been producing the theatre all this while, um, is leaving back to Europe. And it's really sad, so it's also part of our plan to go and see her off at the airport and make sure that Daddy, she cries, yes. Where's the sport TV? The sport TV is outside. What is it doing? It's just standing there so you can go and play on it. You know, so, um, and then whilst all these things are going on, the rest of the team, um, which is the brands and the administrators and everybody else will be meeting at Osu um, to have an, uh, an assessment meeting on where we are, where we are supposed to be and how we are going. From here, it's bye-bye to the family as everyone heads in their separate ways. As he journeys to the first point of call, Ochiame Kwame tunes in to his favorite radio station for his morning update on activities around the world. This is your election headquarters, Joy 99.7 FM. Uh, we are in the hearts of the U.S. State Department building uh, in Cantonments right here in Accra, where we've been granted exclusive access. Kwame stops by Washington Bay on his way to have his ride cleaned. This particular historic... The attendants are thrilled by the presence of Mr. Versatile and shower him with appellations. As the car is being cleaned, the rap doctor tells us a story about a 50 Ghana CD note. I get my truck money from my wife every morning. I let her keep the money so that when it's done, she doesn't come crying. And because when I have it and it finishes, she says, where this can? So this is how much I get for a day. If this is this, this is this, this is my truck money, this is my personal truck money. So I buy petrol, 30 CDs. I eat lunch, 10 cities. And if I have another person with me, our uh, lunch is 20 cities, then it's done. If I don't have, I must come home with the 10 cities. And then the next morning, I'll get another 50 cities and put the 10 cities away. She will take the 10 cities and give me another 50. And say that you spend money, I spend thrift. That's all I do. 50 cities a day on just me, minus the children, minus the team, minus car maintenance. 50 cities a day. The journey continues and the rap doctor conducts his business on his way to Musica. Hello, Bedford. I have looked at it. Um, what? Uh, I can see them. They've given us. Uh, Kwame arrives at Musica to find the ex mega star band set and ready to go. However, he's not due to join them as the rapper, who also doubles as the PRO of the Musician Union of Ghana, is needed upstairs where executives of Musica are meeting the media in line with a peace song project.
wrapping up his duties on the musical scene, it is downstairs to rehearse with the band. Cassie, who also features on the album, stops by to play his part in the preparatory activities. Meanwhile, somewhere on the other side of town, the One Mike team, consisting of his brands, projects, sales, production manager, and PR, are in a meeting in line with the versatile show. The team are assessing progress with the project so far, and also seek to iron out problems and hiccups, if any. Project management. We cut back to the rehearsal grounds where Kesse is finished with his part and tells us about his views of the session. Doing a hit song from Wachame Kwame in Sika um, is a very great achievement um, and experience just from the rehearsal grounds and the rehearsal tells how much uh, and how rich the show is going to be. So um, I'm definitely participating and um, it's, it's all about the rehearsal today and it was an awesome rehearsal, everything went on well, the voices, everything, the mixing went on well, so expect a good show. Finally, rehearsals are done and the rap doctor shares his thoughts on progress. We've been here for the past four hours um, rehearsing and I see that the guitarist has improved tremendously today and uh, I can see that um, the band actually they are playing well. The band are uh, playing well. My two keyboardists are on top of their game. The bassist is on top. My drummer is usually crazy, is always noisy. <laughs> but I know that by the end of this program, we are going to tone him down to a mature, you know, he's playing too well. You know, so we must make sure that he plays with the group. He's playing as a star on it by himself. But there's this nice saying that I have developed that I love so much. In production, rehearsals is the work. The main day performance is just a fanfare. After rehearsals, he heads for the Kutuka International Airport to catch up with Effie, production executive of Riverman Production, who is rushing back to Australia for an emergency business trip. Kwame catches her minutes before she boards the flight, and the pair bounce around a few ideas regarding the show. Finally, 
It's time for Effie to fly off and the pair share a hug. The brief embrace marks the end of this week's episode. As usual, we will come your way next week with more information on progress. Remember, it's only five more weeks to the main event. For more information about the show and more, be sure to log on to www.ochiamekwami.com where you can catch all the updates of the reality show. Till next week, stay versatile and stay blessed. Obibini bad It's a one mic jam. Rap data. C A R O. Looks check, brains check, swag check, class check, style check, flex check, cash check. Uh, Mepe. Obibini bad The early man gathered around the fire for entertainment. The morning man play with his gadgets for entertainment. Fun in the future, music, theater, and dance will be assembled on one stage by one man for one people. The versatile show, December 14th, National Theater. MTN, everywhere you go.